Why I spend 5k for 5 hours of business event and what I learn? In this video, I am going to share the phase, the experience that I got in 5k and after that business event, what I learned and why I went there and uh, what was my process, thought process of going there. So at that time I was in my college and uh, I was figuring out that what will I gonna do then I did I did everything which is possible. I did like public speaking, I did uh, stand up comedy, uh, I, I went to I went for, to take a job in a startup then I did so many several things. But in when I was in college I was thinking to start my logistic company yes you heard it right uh, i was thinking that i will start a logistic company at that time uh, when i was around 19 or something so uh, now i then i start making videos on it <laughs> i i don't know but at that time i made some videos that my startup idea my uh, domain registration something like that youtubers make that uh, I have registered my car, going to take the delivery of that car, I got an I met an accident, I got a scratch on my car, something like that videos. I, be, I made the same videos like I, I, I am doing sweat analysis of my startup idea. I can't play those videos but I will show you the screen recording of that videos that I made. Now I made them private because of their qualities and craziness. Uh, now I can see that that was the craziness but that time that thing was not so then i thought that which is the like top logistic company in india so i got uh, uh, answer that apml movers ampl something like that huh? ampl and the founder of that company was ramesh agarwal okay then I started to started to learn about logistics and how that thing work. I made the brand name. Then I made a video that uh, logo. I made the logo of my startup, something like that. I will show you the video. Okay, I will show you the video that video of uh, which video that the name that I am talking about. I decided the name of my startup and uh, that name was. Uh, uh, something like Mr. Fasto. Have a look to this video first. So, पहले बात करते हैं मेरा startup idea क्या है और मैंने उसका नाम क्या रखा है, right? तो मेरा जो startup idea है वो है courier service से related. अब इसमें क्या होगा कि इसमें मैं एक ऐसा startup शुरू करूँगा जहाँ पर मैं courier service provide करूँगा लोगों को बहुत ही reasonable price और high quality के साथ में. जब मेरे को ये idea आया तो मैंने देखा इसका मैं नाम क्या रख सकता हूँ. तो मैंने YouTube पर search किया. गूगल किया बट मेरे को कुछ खास नाम नहीं मिले फिर मैंने ऑनलाइन एक सर्वे किया जहां पर मुझे पता चला कि लोगों को सबसे ज्यादा फास्ट डिलीवरी चाहिए वहां पर उसके बाद रीजनेबल प्राइस होना चाहिए तो फास्ट डिलीवरी अब मेरे दिमाग में ये आ गया था फास्ट डिलीवरी को लेकर कुछ करते हैं तो फिर मैंने देखा कि क्यों ना मिस्टर फास्ट नाम रखा जाए जहां पर मिस्टर और फास्ट तो फिर मैंने इसका डोमेन सर्च किया वो नहीं मिला मेरे को तो फिर मैं सोचने लगा कि क्या नाम रख सकते हैं इसका तो फिर मैंने दोबारा इस पर एक वेबसाइट थी वहां पर मैंने सर्च किया और वहां पर जब मैंने नीचे देखा तो मुझे मिला मिस्टर फास्टो काफी अच्छा नाम है मेरे को बहुत पसंद आया और थोड़ा यूनिक भी है और मार्केटिंग में बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प भी करेगा तो फिर मैंने देखा कि अच्छा मिस्टर फास्टो इसके जब मैंने डोमेन सर्च किया तो फाइनली वो मुझे वीडियो दैट आई मेड दैट टाइम दैट देन आई मेड सो मेनी सेवरल वीडियो एंड आई वॉज uh, going in the direction to build logistic company. I made, a, I did a survey of uh, that which company do you like and what uh, do you want to go, do, do you want to do parcels, do you need the actual uh, logistic company. Logistic company, it means delivery company, something like delivery, delivery and blue dart, something like these companies. So then I, I got that there is event is happening in five star hotel uh, where Ramesh Agarwal is coming for a speech to give us the business lessons to to teach us about it then because he was my idol in that uh, idea in that business so I thought to go there 
and uh, I talked to them about event manager that what would, what would be the price of that event then he said okay the you do you, what are you doing I said I am a student okay so he said okay do you have business or do you want to I said I want I said I want to join I want to do the startup thing okay then he said the price would be around 3500 I, I don't spend 5000 5k on that event I spent around 4000 4k but I made I wrote a title like that so that it can match 5000 for 5 hours to match that not a uh, real thing I spent 4k so he said 3500 I said okay uh, he, he, he sent me the details and everything but at that time I was in college and my I am I came from middle class family I have, you don't have money to spend on events especially for five hours of event we don't have that money and I I haven't asked to my parents because I know the answer would be no <laughs> so I called my mama ji my what to say mama ji in English I don't know I called my mama ji uh, the brother of my mother <laughs> I called him and said Mamaji I had a course in my college and I want to buy that course and I have 2000 rupees and uh, the, that course is for uh, uh, 5500 and I have that 2000 and I need your 3500 I will, don't tell my parents that mother because if he if he will tell her then she will go mad at me so I thought okay I thought I told him that not to tell him tell him or her my father and mother he said okay and I said I will return your money I said to him like that he said no I don't need that money take it so I, I convinced him to give me that money 3500 but the event ticket was 3500 and I told him like that so that he can give me he trust me that okay I have 2000 and he will give me 3500 so I can combine I can like buy that course so he gave me that money and uh, I, I to create an urgency uh, trust me it's the truth I, I don't lie it's the truth and I for the urgency I told him that the last date is tomorrow I will go to the college tomorrow and the last date is tomorrow battery is about to die so the last date is tomorrow I have to buy that course and I need that your money urgently so he, he transferred that money in the night in night and he no 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 he forgot to transfer then I called him in night then I said oh, mama ji uh, I need to go to college tomorrow and I want to buy he said okay 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 I, I forgot that then he transferred that money 3500 and uh, from the next day I contact him and I trans I paid that amount and bought that ticket then I went that to that event you will see the, these videos where I met some few people I was making videos I was uh, learning I was like there were uh, lunch there were breakfast not breakfast there was lunch and some snacks things and uh, I learned then finally the person everybody came uh, like one person came for training then we other person came and I was waiting for the final the Ramesh Agarwal then at at the end that Ramesh Agarwal sir came and he started his speech and uh, he told me so many things about the logistics that how small mistakes matter he gave his speech and I learned so many things from him and at the end I got uh, there were some people who came there were some celebs who came and there were like functions dance is happening and people were enjoying then we went for training then after training we enjoyed like uh, performance and so many several things I loved that one day and I was feeling like a celeb where we were just sitting like this and uh, and something like that and we were waiting and we had snacks is, uh, snacks are coming and uh, people were dancing and we were enjoying and then training were coming then we were jotting down everything like 
everything was fine and uh, because of the money that we paid for the people that were coming that came to that event they were running like three four businesses they have they are generating two three crores of revenues but i was the person who were doing nothing who had no idea what will i do in my life who had nothing and i took that money from my relatives to join that event the learnings let's talk about the learning that i learned especially from the ramesh agarwal and other people also but i combined them okay the one thing that i learned the first and most important thing i learned from ramesh agarwal and i posted it on all of my social media which is customer is king no no sorry customer is god customer is god and god never lies uh, what does it mean it means if your customer is saying something trust his words trust him he is not telling a lie he so your business model you your team anybody have a fault that's why your customer is telling to you and if he is if he is telling to you if he is complaining you it's a good thing if he will not complain that means he don't like your brand he don't like your product if he is complaining that it means he want to he want you to fix this he want you to change your habits change your stuff he want you to from you that right uh if you are the other person then he may not tell you about it but if he is telling you trust him and change that thing and he told a story of uh, uh, like uh, how he did that uh, how he like how he what to say manta hai how he believe that it's truth uh, the one of the story that he told me that one time his uh, a driver that logistic driver the truck driver came and uh, he lost a uh, money around 20000 something and uh, the manager uh, at that time in in his office uh, told him that uh, you lost that 20000 money it it is huge amount for a driver as well as for the company also if every truck driver do the same thing then you can imagine the losses of that company so that uh, thing came to the founder the ramesh agarwal and he he talked to that driver and he said that sir i the truck driver said sir i i kept my money on my pocket and uh, when i and when i was driving or when i go out and uh, after driving when i go out and i don't know when i came back i had not money then truck driver said okay you have two options first either pay my money that 20000 which is like huge for him or give me a solution that from next time that money can't like still nobody can uh, that money not lost right so he came, he said okay sir give me time and after few days he came up with an idea that sir if we every truck driver have a pocket inside his inner right it's my t-shirt and inside t-shirt every indian wear a inner and in that inner everybody every truck driver have a pocket like this like pocket like this it's a pocket like this and if they have a pocket like this it's a good but a pocket like this from here like this oh my god <laughs> a pocket of like this so they can keep that money inside their inner and nobody can see it nobody can steal it and that's how the founder got an idea and from that time they distributed the inner to every truck driver to wear it and keep your money inside your inner second thing is learn from your competitors uh, the thing is that nowadays everybody hate their competitors nobody wants to see them no everybody wants to like that like made them like cut them <laughs> like like that so they they said we learn from our competitors if our competitor have something extra from us something plus from us then we try to either copy that or build something more to that right so he given he gave an example and i forget that what was that example but he said that point in his speech and i noted down 
the third thing is small things matters very small things matters uh, he he uh, like how small things can matter in a startup like a person called you right in and he want to know something about your company about your services he and he called you and if you pick his call if you answered his call in few like 5 to 10 seconds it gave him the good impression but if you not able to answer it if you missed that call and if you didn't call him back that is the one of the best one of the biggest bad thing in customer services when a customer call pick that call as soon as possible and answer solve their queries it the how small thing is but it matters a lot that was also the biggest learning that every small things matters don't ignore the small things uh, the fourth thing that uh, he told me not basically he don't told me he, other people told us that learn as much as you can about your industry be the top learner of your industry you you are not aware of the trends the future then how will you do the business in that the top leaders will identify the opportunity and they will just jump into it and you will see when they, when they jumped into it after few time after few like days you will regret you will see okay they have jumped now you will you will go in that opportunity which which is not uh, right so that was the learning that i thought i should tell you and i learned and that's how i spent my 5k on 5 hours of event basically it was 4000 i spent other money also 4000 and for 6 hours of event it was a catchy line to attract you guys so that was the thing and if you are serious about your entrepreneurship and if you want to learn about marketing sales businesses the future trends then uh, you should join the newsletter the entrepreneurs club i have given the link in the description or in first comment go and check it out bye